Let the festivities begin as we start the 2016 New Providence Heritage Parade. We want to thank, is that, is that JD? JD, Deputy Sheriff here in Hardin County. Thank you for coming out, JD. Let's rise as we honor our nation. As the honor guard comes by with old glory. Thank you, gentlemen. Our Grand Marshals for this year played on the New Providence High School basketball team that took second place in the Iowa Girls 6-on-6 six six basketball tournament, tournament 70 years ago in 1946. Their team was the first in Iowa history ever to play for state titles on their first trip to the tournament. The team members on the float are Dolores Whitehead, Arlene Whitehead, Donna Mae Ferris, Mildred Lister, Bonnie Azeltine, Arlene Lawler. 70 years ago. Congratulations, ladies. This year's Little Miss New Providence is Chloe Giles. Congratulations, Chloe. And Little Mr. New Providence is Deacon Gardner. Congratulations, Deacon. Neil Hadley's driving the 53 Chevrolet Bel Air by Lowell Brewer. The 2016 Miss New Providence is Emma Gorley. Live southeast of town here. She's our Miss New Providence. She is the daughter of Todd and Pat Gorley. And we want to congratulate Emma. Landon Brown has the difficult task of driving the 53 Oldsmobile convertible. Thank you, Landon. are, I believe, the children of New Providence who are the thank you gang. They are thanking all the people who made donations to this park, the new park. Because of you, the park has greatly improved with more to come, and because of you, our dreams have come true. Children, thank you for being grateful. We hope you enjoy the new playground. Good. Coming around the corner now are the donors to Heritage Park. These people gave sacrificially to see that the park was accomplished and upgraded. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dave Will Vanderwell, Ken and Evelyn Cook. Lucas McCracken and family, Lou and Judy Schaefer, Kevin, who is this lady right here? Which one? We'll go back to us. We want to welcome Miss Awasa, Lydia Rose. She's been dri being driven by Kyle Wogan. She's a recent. High school graduate, daughter of Don and Connie Rose, and Lydia will be attending Emmaus College in Dubuque this fall. Lydia was a fantastic basketball player. We sure enjoyed watching her play ball here at South Harden. We also want to welcome Miss Union, 
Miss Union Whitten, Molly Patton. Welcome, Molly. Get that queen wave going, girl. There you go. And also we want to welcome Little Miss Union Whitten, Lydia Butler. Lydia enjoys swimming and dancing, and she has the queen wave down. Look at that. Good job, Lydia. What's his name? And also Wyatt Brecky is, excuse me? Oh, next card. Thank you. Wyatt Brecky is little Mr. Union Clinton. He enjoys riding dirt bikes and imagine this, shooting guns. Congratulations, Wyatt. Mark Jeske and Steve Schlormeyer, Schlormeyer, with Eli DeGuerre as co-pilot. This is the New Providence Fire Department. They thank you for all that attended the breakfast this morning and all your support through the years. And thank you guys for your volunteer service to our community. Brian Perry is driving our New Providence Fire and Rescue Vehicle. We're grateful for all the men and women that volunteer and for all of you who donated to purchase equipment. Also, Providence Township Volunteer Fire Department Vehicle, Jared Cook and Cordy, Deb Jeske, Delaney Brinkmeyer, and Tyson Gilmore. I think I got that right. Thank you. Here's Tom Brewer on his John Deere 60. Here we have Dean Schoen from State Center. 
We want to welcome the Hardin County Savings Bank. Good place to put your money, save your money, and loan money, right? We want to thank Hardin County Savings Bank for their decades of service to the community. And all donations will be, candy donations will be appreciated. Here we have the New Providence Hardware vehicle here in historic downtown New Providence. It's the oldest hardware in the state, maybe even in the world. Over 150 years, Marlene and Tom are not the original owner. Marlene and Tom are not the original owner of the 150-year-old New Providence Hardware. We want to thank Tony Niederhoff and American Family Insurance. And she loves to be bugged for a quote. Bug her for a quote. Thank you, Tony. Here we have George Brandt. The name of the tractor is Fred. It's a 
Jim Farmall. Thank you, Jim. Don't break out in the rash driving that red vehicle. This is the float from the CCC POW Museum there at the Hardin County Fairgrounds. We thank you for your diligence and all the work you put into the CCC and POW building. This is Tractor Source Rex, Rex Lawler from New Province, driving his IH 1960, IH 560. Norman McDonald is driving his 1947 IH CM. Thank you, Norman, for coming out today. Kim Reese is operating a 1974 turbocharged 74 1066. Thank you, Kim. Heart of Iowa Communications, who are on the cutting edge of technology. Call us for your phone, internet, and TV services. Thank you, Heart of Iowa. Thanks, you guys. Orny Martin has entered his 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Thank you, Orny, for bringing her out and showing her to us again. 57 T-Bird. Walker Strait is riding a 1947 Doodlebug Scooter. I believe that Walker is a grandson of Warney Martin. Jim Lance and Jeff Hoffman. I brought out their 1955 Thunderbird and their nine-year-old Great Dane Lucy. Thanks for bringing out that beautiful car and the dog. Dave Malina has brought out his 1956 Ford Sunliner. Thank you, Dave. And he's a member of the Hardin County Cruiser Car Club. Dick Talbot is driving a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Robert Talbot is the owner, and it's a work in progress. Thank you, Dick.
Tidman? Yeah. This is Brian and Levi Tidman, who are on William Buckley's Memorial 1949 Model A tractor. In, re in remembrance of Buck. Thank you for bringing it out. horse rides in the summer. Thank you, Pine Lake Saddle Club. Here we have Trent, Heather, Tanner, and Brayden with their Ranger and four-wheeler. 
It's like a little duck following the mama duck. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Thanks to Denise. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you driver. We appreciate you coming out for the 2016 New Providence Heritage Parade. You're welcome to take this street right here to the south to the farmer's market. You can also enter over here where the illustrious Brenda Crab is sitting and there's a set of displays about Long Hill and the 1946 runner-up basketball team from New Providence. There's also a photo opportunity right across the street. Willard McDonald's you can also vote for the images that will be in the New Province calendar in 2017. There will be a meal served at 11.30 in the soda fountain. And then at 1 o'clock will be the dedication of the park upgrade. And then at 5 o'clock, Blake Ritchie will have his grand opening of his new business right here next to the Larry Station. Blake Ritchie Designs. So enjoy the day here in New Providence.